Y'all, this is Jeremiah McPherson, Hallelujah Johnson, right back at y'all. We got another motherfucking pull day today. I'm happy. I, I got um, a little bit more motivated and confident thinking about how many pull-ups and dips I did on camera already recorded, posted on my YouTube video. But I, I want thousands and thousands of hours of um, pull-ups and dips because I noticed that um, on my Twitter, one of the uh, transgendered women said she had thousands of hours of porn on her OnlyFans. So I want to outwork all the celebrities, all my haters, anybody I got gaslighting me, just with pull-ups and dips alone. Maybe if I'm lucky enough, just pull-ups alone and have more hours than they have um, albums recorded, just the pull-ups alone, just then they have albums recorded porn, um, talking on camera motivation. I just want my pull-ups alone to X out everything they do in their career. So this is Mortal Kombat, so I'm trying to kill it. Today's another motherfucking poor day. And, um, yeah, because um, I was even thinking, I think Goggins is second for the world pull-up record. I'm not going to even fuck with him on the, on the Guinness pull-up record. And I think um, Old Boy Son beat Goggins one day. I don't even know what it is. I didn't check. But if I can get more pull-ups recorded, not just as a record in my lifetime that anybody got recorded, that's a that's a good deal. And I know just putting it out there is putting myself out there. But I'm all about motivating people. And I know taking that loss of me um, just saying it, even though if I never get credit for it, or if a motherfucker had the idea already, it's not nothing new as pull-ups. It's still good for um, me, for people to hear it come from me. So to put myself out there, to put it out there, and then uh, have people actually work and do it, it's, it's better for me too. It's like, um, you know, energy cannot be um, destroyed or created it only could be transformed from one form to another so i'm putting it out there but if i can just be on that top list of pull-ups done in this lifetime com com uh, compared to the other stuff that i'm doing um dips uh bench press push-ups you know squats porn uh just reading and motivating talking about discipline and um y'all celebrities ain't doing nothing but gaslighting eric thompson ain't doing shit but gaslighting hating so if i can get more pull-ups then Eric Thompson got motherfucking uh, motivational speeches done. Uh, I'm killing it. So this is a challenge. I don't, I don't give a fuck. I'm a motherfucking guy. I can't hold it in. I can't hold my piss for you, man. I'm pulling my dick out. And I'm pissing. And it is what it is. This is Jeremiah McPherson. We got 1,825 days of simple disciplines. 1,825 days of studying. 1,825 days of working out. 1,825 days of boxing. 1,825 days of doing porn. 1,825 days of tracking my calories, 1,825 days of going to work, 1,825 days of reading and listening to audiobooks, 1,825 days of journaling, 1,825 days of keeping it pimping, 1,825 days of staying so icy on these bitches, 1,825 days of working on my strategy, 1,825 days of sticking to my values, 1,825 days of Mongol mentality, 1,825 days of consistently working, 1,825 days of recording content. We got a few things that I'm grateful for I wrote down in my journal. I'm grateful I got another porn to do tonight. I think I'm going to call it 5150 in um, a high-protein Snickers. And then we got, I'm grateful to stay physically active. The steps that I'm getting in every day, I think I, I did uh, 10, 12,000 steps before I even went to bed last night. So that's more than most people... Um, Doing, I think I went to bed around four or, or two or four, you know, I ate and everything. Took a small break. I sometimes I unplug from my study and my strategy for when I eat dinner to kind of rest my head. And then I play some um, informational stuff about the universe. I love that shit. I was thinking the red pill, blue pill thing is women's is from Venus and men is from Mars. Cause I listen to my space shit. I love my space shit, the universe, and just how shit works to have my mind drift off and fall asleep. And it's a few, th and then one more thing I'm grateful for. I'm grateful, well, I got a lot of things I'm grateful for, but this is another one for today. I'm grateful how much money I can make in the future without these celebrity soft ass, fake ass names. So I'm grateful because these celebrities are soft and they fake as fuck. And they just fucking yuck, disgusting, make me puke and vomit. And this is plan 5150. Since so much gas sliding in hand, we had a little technical difficulty, but we're going right back on it. This is part two of full day intro for today. Uh, these uh, Plan 5150, Jeremiah McPherson, Hallelujah Johnson. I'm right back at y'all.
Plan 5150, these celebrities sound sick as fuck. Think I have to, want to kick it with the boys to do porn. No, y'all sound sick as fuck thinking I have to kick it with the boys or any of y'all celebrities. Tiger, uh, Kanye West, Jay-Z. Now I'm going to do this porn. Let me see. Uh, what preschool or elementary you think this is? You know, we grown motherfucking man. You make your next move your best move. You gaslight whatever the fuck you want to do. I'm, I'm doing porn, making straight money for what I love to do. I'm going to do what the fuck I love to do. Y'all can play games. I'm going to railroad y'all niggas, man. Just like the court system. Do me. I don't know if we got a black dude. I don't, I don't got no love in my heart to slow down something I'm doing in my values or my life for any of y'all niggas. I'm just going to railroad y'all. I don't give a fuck about y'all niggas' life, family. And if you got to gaslight and lose your life for these hoes, so be it. If you got to gaslight and lose your life for these hoes, because you like to play little kitty games, so be it. I'll be over here talking to all the beautiful women, fucking all the sex toys, running multiple business, doing all the pull-ups and dips, boxing, creating the most content, changing the world, while you still gaslighting, playing soft, while you still gaslighting, thinking playing soft is cool, you soy fuck boy. So that was plan 5150 for today. Look into this motherfucking read wise. So I caught you a soy boy and a fuck boy, you celebrity, Jay-Z, uh, 50 Cent, Floyd Mayweather, thinking gaslighting is cool, Eric Thompson, uh, C.T. Fletcher, uh, Hawk, Mike Hearn. That's playing like a soul boy. A few of the other buff niggas. Uh, the nigga that was uh, Captain Save a when I was talking to Stella Cat. Yeah, I don't, I don't let nothing go, man. I'm going to hold on to it and um, do me. Because my plan was to do me any motherfucking way. So you just hopping in the way. It's not about necessarily me holding on to my grudge. It's about me being selfish, Machiavellian-ish. And not giving a fuck about you or your family. Stick it to my motherfucking values. Fight for your life. This is Mortal Kombat, bitch nigga. And uh, let's get this uh, read wise up. Getting technical. There are two formulas. This is a quick passage from my National Sports Nutrition Coach course. There are two formulas to calculate BMI. It is calculated by either dividing a person's weight in kilograms by the square of their height in meters. And that's the R. Oh, wait, let me finish reading this. Are dividing their body weight in pounds by the square of their height in inches and multiplying it by 703. So the last one I just read was the imperial formula is body mass index equals 703 times weight in pounds divided by height in inches. And the metric formula is body mass index equal weight in kilograms divided by height in meters squared. A simpler option is used a simpler option in doing the work in, on paper or hand, a simpler option is to use an online BMI calculator from a trusted source. And um, I got a website right here, but it's kind of hard to read out. It's www.nhlbi.ni.gov health slash education, lose weight slash, uh, body mass index calculator. This, this is a little jumbled up right there, to, um, the link. But um, I'll see if I have enough time to put it in my bio, but don't think I'm gonna put this in my um, bio. Just uh, type in body mass calculator in Google and it might be faster than me taking the time out. I'm already got this workout. I gotta wrap my hands into this boxing intro too. My bad, but if you was a play client, I'll take my time out and work and talk everything out for you. But this is something I'm working on and I'm constantly improved to um, do everything better, this whole shit better. And this is another quick passage from my NASM CPT-7. Respiratory disease, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, is an umbrella term for chronic respiratory dysfunction that is characterized by increased breathlessness, airflow limitation, and accelerated decline of lung function. These symptoms are not fully reversible and significantly limit activities of daily living for those who are diagnosed. 
emphysema and chronic bronchitis are examples of COPD. By 2030, COPD is estimated to become the third leading cause of death worldwide. Individuals with COPD often have several uh, accompanying chronic conditions. Consequently, they often have lower health-related quality of life, which itself is an independent pre, um, pre, pre dictator or pre. I can't say the word, goddammit, my bad, of hospitalizations and mortality. Once diagnosed, COPD is not considered curable. Rather, it is medically managed over a person's lifespan. However, lifestyle modifications and increased physical activity can have positive effects for individuals with a chronic respiratory condition especially light aerobic exercise involving large muscle groups is recommended to help improve the ability to use oxygen. Brisk walking daily can be one of the best forms of exercise for people with COPD. And this is a separate, this is for my MMA conditioning specialist. Uh, the functional continuum, multi-planner, Three planes of motion. Use the entire muscle contraction spectrum. Um, use the entire <clears throat> contraction veloc velocity specs spectrum. Uh, manipulate all acute variables, sets, repetitions, intensity, rest intervals, frequency, and duration. Uh, so when it says functional continuum multiplanar, we got frontal plane. That's divides the body into anterior fronts and posterior back halves. And so it's talking about um, like a side kick will be a frontal plane movement. And it might be a side kick, but examples exercising is um, jumping jacks, uh, band walks, and lap raises in the frontal plane. Then you got the sagittal plane that divides, divides the body into left and right half. And so exercises in the sagittal plane would be like um, squats, uh, curls, extensions, and the other and the other plane is the transverse plane. And transverse plane is like uh, shoot, curtsy lunges and um, like a rotation of the ex uh, oblique exercises. And then when it says use the entire muscle contraction spectrum, ooh, I might have to go over that one. And velocity, contraction velocity spectrum, and I got to go over that one too. But those are the three planes of motion. It's the um, frontal, sagittal, and transverse plane. What's another exercise in the transverse plane? Uh, I can't even think right now. You could say... Um, Russian twist would be another uh, example of a transverse plane exercise. But I got to go over the muscle contraction spectrum and velocity spectrum. I'm pretty sure I think I know what it means, but I don't want to say the wrong thing. And so that was my read wise for today. And so we're going to go over a few quotes today. Uh, we have to hit Fight Club up today. Yeah, we got to read Fight Club today. A lot of people talking gaslighting. But uh, this is a quote from Fight Club. We all been raised on television to believe that one day we'd all be millionaires, movie gods, and rock stars. But we won't. And we're slowly learning that fact. And we're very, very pissed off. So all this soy boy uh, soft-ass gaslighting y'all do, man. That's just pissing me the fuck off. Like, I ain't got to fuck with Jay-Z or none of y'all politics that y'all be doing. I'm happy here doing my motherfucking pull-ups, my boxing, my porn, and open up my own motherfucking business. Y'all just pissing me the fuck off. And I'm not the only one y'all pissing off, so um, keep that shit pushing. We could do more from Fight Club, but let me see. I got a, I had a few. Um, and this is from Richard Feynman. I'm smart enough to know that I'm dumb. And this is from George McDonald. To be trusted is the greater compliment is a greater compliment than being loved. 
And this one's from Frederick Douglass. If there is no struggle, there is no progress. And so we got another motherfucking pull there today. I had some technical difficulty, so I have to chop this up in two motherfucking um, intros. And I'm about to wrap my hands and start this boxing. Do a boxing intro and then start boxing. Gaining 
favor with other people. Character is something that you have and that you are. You could be marooned on a desert island and your character would still be important. In fact, but it's an attitude of character for a leader to refrain from making himself or herself the indispensable heart and soul of an organization. Here's a third difference between character and charisma that's particularly important in a leadership situation. Charismatic people have to keep pulling rabbits out of the hat. The magic of their presence has got to keep expressing itself or people might start wondering where it went. Worse yet, they might start getting bored. There were plenty of charismatic individuals around such as Churchill, Montgomery, De Gaulle and Patton. What was needed was somebody with toughness, stamina, and ability to manage people. Just before the Normandy invasion in 1944, Eisenhower met with a group of officers who would be going into battle. He stretched out a piece of string on a table and pulled it a few inches with his finger. An army is like this piece of string, he said. If you try to push it from behind, it just tangles and doubles back on itself. Soldiers have to be led. First love is for the truth, even if it hurts. Because character is what's left after charisma is gone. I'd like to elaborate a bit on a comparison I made earlier about how creating your character is like an artist creating a sculpture. The essential point is this. I don't think character is something that just happens by itself. Any more than a chisel can create a work of art without the hand of an artist guiding it. In both instances, a conscious decision has been made. A conscious process of design is at work. Character is the result of hundreds and hundreds of choices you may make that gradually turn who you ideas for goals and plans to design our life for the future. Tomorrow we'll do the workshop, setting goals for the next 10 years. Ideas for plans to achieve the plan. But here's what else we need. Inspiration. Emotional vitality. Without that, the ideas won't progress very well. They may serve you to just get by. Sure, you haven't spent this kind of money in this kind of time to pick up ideas just to get by, but we want to be able to flourish. However, that is a human being's two major objectives. And you might make these notes. One is to survive. First, we must learn to survive. Second, then we learn to succeed, which is beyond survival. We could rearrange it some other way. On this planet, we seem to be guests. So you figure out how this one works, whoever set it up, right? You follow how it's been set up. Then if you get a chance for a plan, then you can rearrange the whole deal and say, well, I'm not going to do that, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. So if you ever get that chance, you can do that. But hey, on this one, it was prearranged before we dropped in here. But on the spinning planet heading somewhere, right, what is the deal? And part of it is a mystery. Why two different reactions to the same set? Just make the note, it's a mystery. And I haven't tried to solve them. So I'm going to make everybody walk out and say, I'm going to change my life. See, now you can't do that. It's going to be however it's going to be. And the key is to be curious and not disappointed. Let the mysteries be mysteries. Interesting story says, the day the Christian church was started, a magnificent sermon was preached. And if you read the account of the sermon, preached the first day of the Christian church was started. It was a magnificent sermon. And it was a magnificent occasion. It said there was a multitude that heard this sermon. Turn it around. We just have to let be whatever it is and let it be rather mysterious, but learn to be curious and not to say. Then it said some that heard this sermon didn't know what was going on. And they're easy to spot. They're usually saying, what's going on? Right? They, don't, they don't know what's going on. So he says, well, they should know. Well, your shoulds and shouldn'ts ain't going to affect you. It's like saying the sun should come up in the west. No, you got to leave this stuff alone. Just let the 
mysteries be mysteries and let what happens what happens. Let that all be. In the beginning, I used to say, I'll make it successful if it kills me. I almost die. You can't do that. It said some believed. And that's who the speaker was looking for, the believers out of this massive audience of multitude. Now, here's what was interesting. It said the number that believed was about 3,000. So it was a pretty good first day. So make the note. You, you can have a good day in spite of the mystery. In spite of the mystery of reaction, in spite of who's who, in spite of what happens, in spite of the full variety of human reaction and human behavior, in spite of the whole then you try, then you refine, then you evaluate, then you pass it on. But here's the key is to turn response into results. I appreciate applause, but applause is not the deal. For me, here's what's valuable, is to have this stuff work in someone's life. To have it make a difference in someone's income, have it make a difference in someone's financial future, have it make a difference in someone's health, measurable difference in someone's future and health. That's, that's my game. And I think if I can give you something that'll help make a measurable difference as time passes, see, that's, that's what's in the for me. Key for reasonable time. That's what we ask of our kids, that's what we ask of everybody. Make measurable progress in reason. But results is the name of the game. We don't study philosophy just for philosophy or attitude just for attitude or discipline just for discipline. These things by themselves serve no purpose. But these three items invested in labor, in the work, produces results. Now we measure our results to see how our disciplines are working, how our attitude is working, and how our philosophy is working. And if the results aren't to your liking, they're translating response to results. Now, just finishing up, make these notes. To get the most out of the two days, here's number one. Everybody would agree on number one. Be thankful for what you already have. Here's the next one. Be eager to learn. I know all of you, you already know a lot. But be eager to learn the rest. I've learned a lot in my years, but I'm eager to learn the rest. Now I'm trying to capsulize my learning. I'm trying to accelerate my learning. Nobody knows that better than me. And I've been doing my best all these years to debate, you know, my point of view, as well as to listen from the other point of view. But, you know, I would ask you to argue later because we don't have time to open up discussion for every point that I'm going to cover in the next two days. But here's what's important. Debate all major issues. Some issues are fairly reasonable. You know, sort of obvious. Say, well, I, I can see the positive side of that right away. But some need discussion. Now here's what's valuable. You'll die young. So here's what we should do. Make the note. Right? Be a student, not a follower. This is important to us. Not to be followers, but to be students. Be no one's disciple except the Lord's. You wind up in Waco, Texas. Be no one's disciple. But be a student. Someone says, well, these two books now have opposing views about health. Here's what you should do. Answer. Read.
find a way to serve the many. It is the greatest need to some education. Now, at first, it doesn't seem like it, but that's what education is all about. It's to take what at first seems to be the best and then find out later, no. education is all about. To turn around what seems to be the more best interest and say, no, no, now I understand that isn't good. You've got to two things. The mantle of the fire. If you wish all that kind of greatness, recognition, respect, and all, here's the key. Find a way to serve. So we might shorten it to read like this. Service to many needs to great. Now at first, that doesn't seem to create personal great serving process. Wouldn't that be acting in your own self-interest is to do something that started the receiving process? The answer is yes, now I understand. Now I can act in my own self-interest in an enlightened way instead of a destructive way. Next. In your own self-interest, life responds Guess who deserves to read? Those who plan. So, could I deserve something unique and valuable? Yes, if you understand the law, if you understand how it works in your own self-interest. We must plan, we must give to the soil, we must turn it loose, we must let it do its work, we must have patience, take care of it. Now we deserve to read. If you need, we must plan. Next, if you need to find, God says, if you'll move toward me, I will move toward which could also be translated, God says, you don't move, I don't move. You say, well, that's arbitrary. But when you're God, you can set it up. Remember, your planet, you can rearrange all this. Change it all. But on this one, here's what's interesting. What you move toward tends to move toward. You move toward education. Education starts to seem to This is one of the unique positives. 